Coach Deion Sanders is bringing more experience to the Colorado's offensive line. On Friday, former Kent State left guard Jack Bailey announced that he will be committed to play for the Buffaloes. Bailey will reunite with his head coach, offensive line coach, and a teammate from Kent State. If you guys remember, Coach Deion Sanders hired former Kent State Sean Lewis as his offensive coordinator and former Golden Flashes offensive line coach Bill O'Boyle to coach the Buffalo's linemen. Bailey's teammate, tackle, Savion Washington, the Flash's top-rated lineman in 2022, was also added through the transfer portal. Washington saw action in 12 games at Kent State, including starting in all 11 games in 2022. He helped Kent State's offense average over 28 points per game, over 400 yards of total offensive per game, and almost 5 yards per carry on the season. Started against Ohio when Kent State had 338 rushing yards, 398 passing yards, and 736 total yards. Bailey is listed as 6 foot 3 and 285 pounds and has two years of eligibility remaining. He began a starter midway through the 2021 season and started each of the Flash's last 18 games. According to Pro Football Focus, Bailey led Kent State's offense with 880 snaps, played in 2022, and he was the second highest graded lineman on the team, behind Washington. Per Pro Football Focus, Bailey didn't allow any sacks and only gave up seven quarterback pressures during the 2022 season. He was penalized eight times. During his career at Kent State, he allowed just one sack in 1,416 snaps played. Although mainly a guard, he played some snaps at center in 2021. Bailey is the seventh transfer offensive lineman added by Coach Deion Sanders' staff this offseason. Savion Washington of Kent State, Taylor Brown of Jackson State, Isaiah Jada of Snow College, and Jack Whitty of Iowa Central Community College are all starters at their previous school, while Yosef McHorbill of Florida was a backup. All of them enrolled in Colorado in January and are currently going through spring practice. Colorado has also added Landon Beebe, a starter from Missouri State who is expected to join the Buffaloes this summer. In addition to the newcomers, the Buffaloes have three returning starters on the offensive line. We have returning junior tackles Gerard Christian Lichtenhan. Gerard is 6 foot 10 and 315 pounds. Gerard was redshirted in 2020 and he did not see any game action. He dressed for four games including the, the Alamo Bowl against Texas, also doing so for the UCLA, Stanford and Utah games. In 2021, he played in 12 games on special teams and saw action in five games on offense. He played a total of 67 snaps with 29 plus plays, including one perfect passing play on a touchdown. He played on the FGPAT team on special teams and saw action on all 45 plays. Next is junior tackle Jake Wiley. Wiley is 6 foot 6 and 310 pounds. In 2019, he was redshirted. He did not see any game action. He dressed for two games, Colorado State and USC. He was named the Colorado's Offensive Scout of the Week leading into the Washington State and USC game. In 2020, he played in all six games, including the Alamo Bowl. He saw action on offense in three games and on special teams in all six games. He played on offense against Stanford, Utah, and Texas, and in the regular season had six snaps with four positive plays. He played on the field goal, PAT team, and special teams. In 2021, he started all 12 games on the offensive line. He led all linemen with 374 offensive snaps and tied 
for the team lead with eight touchdown blocks and added six perfect plays on passing touchdowns. His best graded game was at Oregon when he had a grade of 83.6. He also played on the field goal, PAT team, and special teams. In 2022, he played in 12 games that season and played in 624 offensive snaps. He was named a member of the Victory Club for his play in the win against California. He played in 70 offensive snaps in the home opener against TCU. His total career at Colorado, he played in 30 career games with 22 starts. And finally, our last returning starter is sophomore center Van Wells. Wells is 6 foot 2 and 290 pounds. In 2022, he was a freshman at Colorado. He played in 9 games that season. He played in 377 offensive line snaps. He was named a member of the Victory Club for his play in the win against California. He made his first career appearance as a tight end against TCU wearing the number 89. He made his first career start against Minnesota. So this is our offensive line guys. Now what I did at the end was I gave you guys a little bit more information about the returning players because normally we don't talk about them. All we talk about are the newcomers like Shador, Travis Hunter, and people like that but I wanted to give the older players actually some screen time now I know you guys are gonna say those are the same players that was on that 1 and 11 season loss I do understand that but you guys got to understand there's no I in team so there's not one person to actually blame for that 1 and 11 season you got to think about the coach the staff and all the other players in different positions so we can't necessarily blame them now, there is a reason that Coach Deion Sanders is actually keeping them. So he has to see some type of potential in them, some type of drive. I know Coach Sanders is not actually just keeping them because they're big and tall. Now, tell me down below, what do you think about the older players? What do you think about the newer players? What do you think about Coach Deion Sanders still adding from the transfer portal? Um, my thought, he's going to have to add from that transfer portal. He, he has to. He has to. Um, bring in some guys that have some experience, some knowledge about the game that are already set to move on. Because remember, Coach Sanders is saying they want to win now. So if he want to win now, he's got to bring those guys in that already know how the game is being played. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And also, please share the video. If you have a YouTube channel or if you have a Facebook page, I don't mind you guys sharing it on your Facebook page. That just shows me that you guys really support me and you guys really want me to excel. So please go ahead and do that for me and let's get the comments going.